So here's the thing. If you've followed my channel for a while, then you've known over about the past year, I have played a ton of vintage guitars. Now, I'd played quite a few before that, uh, but especially since I started doing these demos down at True Vintage Guitar, where I am now in the beautiful historic district of Birmingham, Alabama, um, I have gotten to play a ton in a very short amount of time. So I've gotten to feel the difference between a 59 and a 60 and a 61 and a 62 Gibson neck profile all within the span of a few weeks. I've gotten to play some incredible Stratocasters. I've gotten to play some guitars that I really wanted to take home, but alas, my wife said we need to keep the house. But I am excited to be able to play a couple of my favorites today. Now, now in this video, I'm only going to be showing you one of them, but I'll have another video coming up soon of a 1960 Telecaster Custom that is a double-bound Sunburst Telecaster um, that is equally incredible and is my favorite Telecaster I have ever played. But in today's video, I'm drinking a Liquid Death Cheerio Obituary to celebrate the occasion of playing this absolutely stunning 1959 Gibson ES355 in watermelon cherry red, and the key and high of you will notice one very important feature about it, and that is that it has a gold side pull vibrato, and this, even according to Gibson, is the earliest one that we have ever seen. Um, I told John I wanted to play a couple of prime examples, um, and I can safely say this is my favorite humbucking Gibson that I have ever played. I've played a lot of them at this point. If I could go home with one, this one's right up there. It's really, really close between this and the 58 two pickup custom. Um, but this one could take the cake. I'm not totally sure. Let me know which one you would rather have in the comments below. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're into vintage guitar videos like this, then please like and subscribe. If you're into buying vintage guitars, then be sure to go over to trueVintageGuitar.com uh, and also check out John's channel. We've got a ton of in-depth videos on all of these guitars, and you'll hear a lot more about the history and the significance about them in his videos as well. I'm just a guitar player. I just enjoy playing them. I enjoy some of the history, but to me, it's about how it plays, how it sounds, how it feels. Um, and I really resonate with what Tom Bukovac recently said in an episode of the Fretboard Journal podcast. You are much more likely to get a great vintage guitar than you are a great new guitar. I've played way more new guitars than I have vintage guitars, but I can safely say that these really are some standouts. So let me know what you think of this guitar down in the comments below. Be sure to look forward to some new videos coming up each and every week. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.